Lake Champlain's deep, open waters are loaded with lake trout. Most anglers pursue them by using downriggers to troll lures far below the surface. But every fall, there's a brief period when they congregate in huge numbers near shore. And for at least one dedicated fisherman, it provides a unique opportunity to catch a lunker laker on a fly. We want to be out there. We want to be out there. We want to be out at the end of that jetty. So the fish uh, swing right in alongside this rock pile. Um, they cruise right along the edge in, in, in uh, small pods. I'm an avid fly angler. I've been fly fishing for about 20 years now. I love to catch everything I can on a fly rod. I really like big, big predatory fish, and that kind of led me to lake trout. Although lake trout are normally a deep water species, in the late fall, thousands of lakers migrate into a handful of shallow, nearshore areas on Lake Champlain to spawn. One of the best known of these areas is right by the ferry landing in Grand Isle. There's a magic temperature of 50 degrees where they really start coming in and they're looking for uh, rocky areas that they can scatter spawn. Uh, and they spawn at night, but during the day they just kind of mill around the areas near these places and uh, that's when you can catch them on a fly rod. You know, they're in anywhere from, you know, about 10 to 30, 40 feet of water. And um, they can be fairly aggressive. I mean, it depends day to day. But some days you can, you can really find them very active and, and chasing things down. Oh, there we go. That's a good fish. Got good markings on them from what I can see. The Lakers are kind of interesting. I'd heard for a really long time that they were just like bringing in an old boot. And so I'd, I'd avoided fishing lake trout for a long time because they just, you know, didn't interest me. I'd gone out trolling a couple times, never had any luck, gave up on it. And um, I found out they're, they're a whole lot of fun on a fly rod um, at this time of year. <laughs> Anytime you're ready. Oh, that's a good fish. They grab the fly hard and they take off. It's not like pulling in an old boot. It is definitely some seriously incredible fishing. Definitely spinning reels when you get into a big one. It's a real blast. Got some lamprey scars. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not done with lampreys. <laughs> Somebody appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> the ferry. What really got Drew interested in pursuing lake trout was the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department's Master Angler Program. The program is designed to not only encourage anglers to fish for different species, but to specifically target big fish as well. So the Master Angler Program, you know, has got 33 different species. I'm currently at 25 species. Out of those 25 species, I have 23 on the fly. As a guide, Drew spends plenty of time on the water helping others catch fish. And when he isn't guiding, more often than not, he's out by himself pursuing master class fish. You definitely have to get very creative. I've had to put in a lot of hours for some fish that you wouldn't think I'd have to put in a lot of hours. The yellow perch really, uh, really took a lot of time. 13 inches, that's a, a really big perch. But uh, it, it's really exciting. I mean, you know, you're, you're looking for specific sized fish, which can be really difficult to find at, at different times of the year. I mean, especially if you're doing it on a fly. I got eight species left and I'm gonna keep chasing them until I get it. There you go. No, 24. Yeah, so I was yeah, gonna 24. say, I said 24, 25. Yep. So, good fish. Nice fish. The master class lake trout has to be 30 inches. That's the minimum size you have to get. And uh, I was pretty fortunate. I got one the second time I came out for him. And uh, I've caught uh, three or four that were master angler uh, over the past few years that I've been really targeting these guys. They're not easy to find. You know, there's a lot of them that are in that 26 to 28 inch range, but they're not rare. But, you know, they're, they're, they're not as easy to entice as the little guys are. Well, here's a male RP clip. And there's no doubt that the big guys are out there. Length 783. Every November, when lake trout congregate close to shore at night to spawn, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department electrofishes for Lakers as part of its Sea Lamprey Control Assessment Program. There they are! Fisheries biologists capture hundreds of lake trout almost every time they head out. And there are always plenty of master class fish in the mix. 
but enticing a trophy-sized Laker to strike a fly during the day can be a challenge. One look at Drew's fly box, and it's clear that his approach to catching big Lakers is casting big flies. A lot of the favorite flies that I use for these guys are um, flies like this. This is a, an alewife imitation. It's got that broad profile, a lot of flash. Uh, the lake trout seem to like a lot of flash. Uh, I tie them uh, weighted and unweighted so you can really uh, change things up. Drew's approach is fairly simple. He uses a sinking line and casts a big meaty fly as far as he can. He then waits several seconds while his line pulls the fly toward the bottom before he starts stripping it back. The fly darts through the water like a wounded bait fish and hopefully draws a predatory response from a nearby laker. There's, there's how you know if you're on the bottom, right there, hooking into the zebra mussels. A lot of creatures can latch onto your fly while stripping in your line, but when a laker grabs the fly, there's usually no doubt about it. Something banged it. It banged it on the paws. It may have been a perch. It was a peck peck, but it was, there we go. It came back, whatever the heck it was, and it's no perch. The laker? Yeah. Can we get back there with the net for you? Yeah, let's give him a second here. Yeah. Now that he's seen the boat and our smiling faces, he has a little bit more life to him. First Champlain laker on a fly that wasn't trolled. Yeah, nice. All right, we've got the little guys out of the way now. <laughs> a small lake trout out here is going to be about 24, 25 inches. The average fish that I'm getting is around 26 to 28 or 29 inches. And, you know, my personal best so far has been 34. Uh, th these are big fish. These are, these are big trout. A little yeah. over 24. But these are still four to five pound fish. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that on a fly rod. Not at all. Well, neither of us landed a master class fish during our outing. It was still fun catching oh, lake trout on the fail. fly. It made me want to explore other areas where lakers are known to spawn, like off the Burlington Breakwater and in Whalen's Bay. Just knowing that there were thousands of lakers lurking below the surface made for an enjoyable day on the water. You know, Drew, you look around. Other than the ferries, we haven't seen a boat. Nope. And I don't see too many people out here. No, but that's what I love about the late fall, even early winter on the lake, whether you're duck hunting or fishing. If you pick your day, you come out here, it's very pleasant, and it's, it's your own private Lake Champlain. It's stunning. It's so different from the summer. It is. I love it. It's really a unique opportunity to, to get after these guys. You're right in their sweet spot at 50 degrees they're pretty active you're not chasing them down on the thermocline 70 feet down these guys are up in the upper part of the water column and they're available to fly anglers with relative ease there goes another one if you hit the right day and and you're in clear water even if you don't catch fish you're gonna see fish this is this is awesome <laughs>